on guys T Torres back here and today uh, we are going to be doing a little uh, car review this is the uh, first car review for the channel and we are in a 2003 uh, E46 uh, M3 I got uh, my buddy Rody he's in the uh, he's in the passenger seat you just you guys just can't see him so he was nice enough to let me uh, put this car on my channel now um, Patrick, what, what does this car come with, uh, stock from the factory, power-wise? So you're looking at 343 horsepower from the factory and about 260-ish pounds of torque. All right, and um, what all kind of modifications are in this car, and uh, what, what made you want to get the uh, the BMW uh, M3 or versus getting anything else? What, what, what made you so dead set on getting a, an M-Series uh, car? Well... I've always wanted them. They uh, they've always appealed to me. But um, what I was just doing is I was for sh lols. I went on to Google and just uh, searched M3 in the area, and I found this one online. They had it listed for 20 grand, but uh, I wanted to scoop it up. Uh, mods. We have lots of AC Schnitzer stuff. Um, you got AC Schnitzer wheels. A cross beam over the engine, uh, pedals, and uh, sh uh, the handbrake. So, for people who don't really know what AC Schnitzer is, or whatever, where, what kind of company is that, and where are they out of? Uh, they're a German, like aftermarket company. So, people people who are into BMWs know yes. uh, know what AC Schnitzer is. Yes. Okay. Because I, I didn't know it first until uh, I went and looked it up. They also have uh, a wing. Oh, there goes my phone. They also have a wing and a front splitter and also a rear splitter. Uh, I got the front splitter, but I don't have the wing and the rear splitter. I think uh, one, of, one of my favorite things about this car, I'd have to say, is not only the aesthetics looks of the car, but this nice, gorgeous red, uh, red interior. I think it just really makes the car just look freaking badass. I love the uh, red interior a lot. Looks good. Yeah, that was one of the the things that really brought me to it was the red a good, interior. A good selling point. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it really looks good. The, the interior looks good. One thing I forgot to mention was the AC Schnitzer exhaust as well. Yes, that's we'll, on uh, it. We'll we'll do a little uh, we'll do a video over that here in a second. Get to a little spot where we can open this uh, M3 up a little bit. Do you have any future uh, plans to do to this car or anything that you'd like to do? Yes, I would like to bore out the cat so that way um, it opens up the airflow a little bit better and also okay. do a tune and then pretty much the rest of it's going to be aesthetics. If I can't get 400 horsepower uh, naturally aspirated, I would like to put a turbo on it, force induction. Oh yeah, nothing like, man this car would scream if you put a turbo on it. Oh, for sure. I think it would be, uh, yeah, this would be one one badass freaking uh, BMW if you put a turbo on it. You bet. And, you know, currently the car has only 77,600 miles on it. So, so you bought it in a relatively good time, you know? Yep. I actually purchased it for just the car alone was 16,400. Uh, after tax tags and title and also a three-year 36,000 mile warranty through a third-party company It came out to 20 grand. Yeah, and that's that's not bad at all You know for what it is and plus, you know, this is uh, the, the car that you wanted so absolutely For a 14 year old car it yeah. uh, it's Very very clean. Oh, yes, it's in very mint, you know pristine condition. So um and for those of you guys, you know, you may be stopping in for the first time. I do appreciate you guys clicking on this video and watching it. Um, so if you're new uh, for the first time, checking out this video. Um, once we hit a thousand subscribers, I'll be doing a giveaway. And for you to uh, enter a chance to win something, you need to, uh, one, subscribe to my YouTube channel, two, uh, follow me on Instagram, and then three, uh, follow me on Snapchat. So once you have all of those, um, 
social media platforms added uh, for me and then you'll enter your chance in to win so we're at I think we're just at right over like 850 some subscribers so I've been gaining some some, some uh, subscribers you know kind of quick which is great I do appreciate that thank you all for supporting my channel um, so yeah so once we hit a thousand subscribers we will then uh, be doing a giveaway so one of you got lucky subscribers who uh, who are all you know they follow me on all the social media platforms you will be uh, you I will be shipping out some uh, chemical guide products because that's what I personally like to detail and clean my car with so one lucky subscriber will get that once we hit a uh, the thousand subscriber mark get up and go yep it has a rev limit of 8,000 rpms yeah I see so that in the dash that's a rather higher rev limit or so it's uh, it's because it's a very balanced engine yes it is that's what they designed it to do was they designed it to be a very high revving high wired engine um, so that way you can always come out of the corners at a, a nice um, and the power band yeah i don't i you know i feel like at any speed that we've driven this car today it just you know it feels like we're just on a nice cloud the the ride the ride is real smooth um the suspension feels great uh, yeah like i said everything about this car is just freaking phenomenal i love this this is the first bmw uh, i've ever driven that was a uh, you know in the m class or the m series whichever you prefer to call it so speaking of suspension um I forgot to mention it has Bilstein suspension, uh, full coilovers, and um, what are they called? The arms. What, camber arms? Camber arms. Yeah. It has a bit of camber in the back. Oh, it's yeah. got two 55s in the back and two 35s in the front. Oh, yeah. You can definitely tell she's got some, uh, she got some camber in it. So uh, one thing that you guys can't see that uh, Patrick uh, has done to this car is he added a really nice... Um, I don't know what do you want to call Infotainment this. Infotainment system. Yes, and um, I'll show that I'll show that to you guys here in just a second. But I mean, it matches phenomenally to the car. You know, it has Wi-Fi, it has the internet. You can get on Facebook, you can get on YouTube, and it really looks like it was meant to be there. It kind of looks like it has that factory look to it. So, I, props to him, kudos, because he did a really good job. It looks good. I mean, it even it even matches the the lines with the dash and stuff. So the CD player looks really good. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's called Eonin. Um, it's actually a Chinese company, but basically, it's a it's a full fledged Android tablet that has uh, Bluetooth, GPS, Wi-Fi, um, all the bells and whistles that somebody would want. Exactly. It's basically a tablet in your dash. Um, yeah. BMW did actually have a touchscreen infotainment system um, back in the later years of the E46 run. So this one didn't have it, so I had to put something in there. So it was an option. Somebody who you know bought this car, built this car, could have gotten that info uh, the infotainment cen uh, center for it. No, not not in 2003. They oh, okay. they had it after 2003. The post facelift is actually about mid year, around June, when they when they changed. A lot of things, and the, they had the option of the infotainment system. Okay, all right, that's cool. I did, I did not know that. But this being the pre-facelift model, it doesn't have things like the uh, LED taillights, which actually they are installed because the previous owner had uh, aftermarket, um, and they're the eagle eyes are pretty darn nice. Yeah, and then I also noticed your your headlights are xenon. Yes. Like a, are they like a HID bulb? Is that factory? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, it looks really good. I mean, the color of this car is great. I like the wheels. You said the wheels are 19s? They're 19s. Okay. Yeah. AC Schnitzer. The wheels really, uh, you know, set this car off. I, I like the wheels a lot. I mean, everything about this car is really nice. It makes me want to get a an M3, but I can't afford it. But I do have an ST, and I love my ST, so... All my ST fans out there, I ain't leaving you. <laughs> and I do love we're using the paddle shifter. Uh, what what is? Uh, can you tell them a little bit? What's SMG? Or, SMG yeah. is sequential manual gearbox. Basically, what it is, it's a single clutch transmission, just like in any other car. However, it uses hydraulically actuated um, 
mechanisms to shift the gear and, and engage the clutch. So it's kind of like a dual clutch transmission, but uh, it's not it's, in a sense. It's it is a little slow. Um, there are some tuning things that you can get out there uh, for about 200 bucks that will uh, fix a lot of the kinks that it has. For example, yeah. like really hard shifting. You have to let off the throttle or else um, during hard acceleration it will it will shift into gear no matter what and it will do very hard. Um, not really uh, ideal for the subframe. Um, yeah, so tell them, uh, is there, I guess, is it a big thing for the subframe cracking or something from how hard this transmission will shift? Yes, E46s, all E46s actually have subframe issues. Um, you will actually need to get a reinforcement put in. Uh, for the subframe? For the subframe. Because they, 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 they just crack, they, they break. Just a lot of power. Uh, it's not it's not so much the power more of how they were manufactured. Yeah. Golly. I think I'm just gonna try to sneak in behind this car. Oh my god, this thing's hot. I bet. That's a nice gold wing. Yeah, it is. Okay, so uh, I know this is a little different from the channel than what I usually do, so I'm experimenting doing these car reviews and stuff like this. So if you guys like today's video, or if you like the way that I'm you know, branching off and doing these, uh, I don't know if you say car reviews, car interviews, wh whichever you want to call it, um, uh, please leave this a like and, and you know if you like this style uh, this style of video please comment down below and let me know so I can keep these uh, videos coming in a huge thank you to Patrick for letting me uh, take his car in and just really because um, I'm not um, smart or I don't I don't know very much information about these BMWs so thank you guys so much for watching uh, please leave this video a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel for the first time please hit that subscribe button so we'll catch you next time in the next video peace out